Hey guys, Matthew Marr, MarInvest.com. I'm going to bring you a... I'm just going to give you a tip. I don't know how many minutes it'll be. So, I watched a, a cool little documentary the other day on Netflix. I know as you're flipping around trying to find things to watch when you're finally unplugging for the day and you're, 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 you're vegging out on the, in front of the television, which I don't encourage to do a lot of, but uh, when you're vegging out, I, I happened to watch a documentary on the fastball. So it's, it's about fastball pitchers. And I'm not a huge sports fan, uh, but I love documentaries and I love uh, uh, whether it be about uh, any kind of sport because the, the human condition about striving and growing and learning how to do more, and I love all that stuff. I just eat it up. And, and, it, and it doesn't matter if you're trying to become the CEO or if you're trying to learn how to throw a fastball. The process is the same. You fail, you succeed, you learn techniques, you put more tools in your tool belt. All those things uh, are the same no matter which one you're doing. Okay, so we're watching this baseball documentary and they've got these really, really smart guys, these statisticians and mathematicians and all that are talking about the distance from um, home plate to the pitcher's mound and how fast a human body can actually throw a ball. Okay. Now, I know this sounds silly, but they're, they're called closers. These guys come in and they throw the ball so fast that you just about can't react to them. Okay, so one of the cool things that they mentioned in there that I, I had to immediately, I, I pushed pause and I started writing down on my notepad. If you guys do not have a notepad, you need to have notepads. And when you have ideas, write it down. Have an app in your phone where you write down notes. And, and you can, you know, sometimes you'll look later and those notes won't work out, but that's just another little tip. So the guy in the documentary says that the hitter who is the uh, height of his athletic ability, the, 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 the edge of human, uh, human's ability to see when the ball leaves the pitcher's hand and react with his bat and body on where that ball is going to be. You see, we can't really see the future, but our brain is so amazing that it kind of fast forwards a little bit. And, and our brain can tell from where the pitch is pitched where it's going to be uh, to some degree. And so as the ball leaves the pitcher's hand, that batter is already in motion making his swing. Okay? So you got this guy that's on the edge of human ability as uh, far as speed and coordination and all to hit balls. On the other side of the, the, uh, the bound, you've got the guy throwing the ball. And he is at the edge of a human's ability to throw a ball as fast as he can, as fast as humanly possible. So he has actually reached the limits. You know, you get up into that 102, 103, 104, you're just about, that's just about as fast as a human can throw a baseball, okay? And so you've got the, this one guy who is at his elite ability, and you've got this other guy who's at his edge of his elite ability. And here's something that's really crazy that happens. There is a point, and I just thought this was so fascinating, but it's very, very, very true. There is a point where the ball is thrown so fast because it's reaching the mound, it's reaching the batter uh, in less than a second. I mean, this is like that. I mean, it is very, very fast. Less than a blink of an eye, they said. And so your brain, there's a speed at which your brain literally cannot uh, process the information fast enough to tell your body what to do. This is where the cool part comes in. Your body still reacts. The guy still swings the bat. And what, what happens is, is the body kind of reacts without thinking. Uh, you know, your, your brain is obviously thinking, but your, your body is on automatic pilot because what happens is, is the things that you have trained for over and over and over and over again. This guy has been at batting practice since he was like six years old, right? And his body and his mind is trained to hit these balls, okay? So the moment the guy goes to pitch the ball, his brain puts him on automatic pilot because he can't make any adjustments, right? His, the ball is moving too fast for him to interpret where the ball is going to be, yet his body is already swinging for the pitch, and a lot of times they actually hit him. So 
uh, it, it's very cool to me to think that because of your training, I, I put on my Facebook page the other day, don't forget your training. Don't forget what your purpose is. Remember what you're doing and why you're doing it. Because the human condition, if you know why you're doing something, you can endure anything. You know, if you were like, can, can, I, man, I'm starving. Well, could you starve for just an hour longer to help your friend move? Yeah, yeah. I, I got some reserves. I'll be okay for another hour, right? If On a grander scheme, you know, there are people that sacrifice for their family and their kids and their country all the time. So what we want to do is remember your training and train regularly. The Olympics are going on right now, and those people have trained for years and years and years to be at this point in their life so that they can compete on a world stage. You are only going to get so many times when opportunity knocks, and a lot of times opportunity does not knock twice. So I have a lot of people that are saying, hey, I want to be successful, I want to be successful. And I'll say, hey, I've got an opportunity for you. Well, I'm really busy today. Maybe I can take that opportunity tomorrow. That's not how this works. Uh, I'll send out an email and I'll say, hey, everybody, uh, I've just got back from Vegas to the Self Storage Expo. We have a, a short time to do things. We have over a billion dollars uh, from one investor. We have several million from another investor, from a, a Reg D. Let, let's uh, jump on this opportunity and get to research and find as many of these properties as we can. And they're like, well, sometimes I don't even get a response. So you have people that want to be successful, uh, but that for some reason they, they can't get over their circumstance or their situation or what they're dealing with that day. So I, I'll, I'll never forget Zig Ziglar's words, and you can go look this up on YouTube. He's got some great videos out there. Zig Ziglar says, he says, it is guaranteed that 100% of the time, with no exception, the person that doesn't take the first step never takes the second step. I pray that you guys are blessed by these videos. I hope that you are learning and trying to add to your tool belt daily so that you can do better for those around you. Have a good day.